So someone commented with criticism on one of my YouTube videos and they said that I was focusing too much on calories for weight loss and that calories don't matter. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, calories don't matter, apparently. Now, they linked an article from a well-known low-carb diet advocate and the article said in the title, calories don't matter. And it's quite common for low-carb diet fans to say that calories don't matter. They believe in regulating insulin for weight loss not necessarily in calories in, calories out. Now these aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. Some people who do prefer low carb dieting still say that calories are important. It's just focusing on that is kind of missing the forest for the trees. Other low carb proponents say that calories are completely irrelevant. I have even seen someone describing them as fictitious. Now interestingly, one of these articles said, we know that calories don't work for weight loss, because we've been told not to eat too many calories for years, yet we are struggling more and more with a growing obesity rate. Now this is something that I think is interesting because we are struggling with a growing obesity rate. So in that regard, the advice that we've been given doesn't work. If our nutritional recommendations are there in part to stop the obesity rates growing, this isn't working. Now, where we disagree is that I don't believe this disproves that calories in, calories out, works for weight loss. I think, crazy idea, people don't adhere to the guidelines that they're given. Now don't take this as a criticism. I think everyone in general often struggles to adhere to guidelines. It's not accusing people of being fat or lazy like I've seen loads of people saying in articles. It's more that either people don't know what the guidelines are or they don't actually have a firm grasp on the number of calories they're eating to know if they're adhering to the guidelines. And let's be honest, we aren't always brilliant at adhering to guidelines anyway, are we? As a child, you get given a pair of binoculars for Christmas. Do not look at the sun through these binoculars. What's the first fucking thing you did when you opened that box? You know it, I know it, we all did it. What about saving money? We all know that we should save more money than we spend. Now, even though we know this, what does every fucking person do on payday? Now my point is, we can say that the advice that we're given and the recommendations we're given aren't working, but I disagree in saying that this disproves that calories in, calories out doesn't work. I think that is an illogical thought process. So as some kind of evidence to this, I'm going to go over the World Health Organization recommendations for diet and exercise. Now be totally 100% honest with yourself. How many of you are following these? And then be honest, how many people do you think in the wider society are following these day in, day out? At least five portions of fruit and vegetables per day. Fucking easy, most people would nail this. Wait, potatoes and sweet potatoes don't count. That means chips don't count. Fuck. Now, I've worked with people one-on-one -on -one for about 12 years and the number of people that honestly eat five portions of fruit and vegetables per day is surprisingly slim. Less than 10% of your total energy intake from free sugars. I think this would trip a lot of people up as well. Let's be honest, you go to your favorite coffee shop, you order an indulgent coffee, maybe a muffin for lunch, maybe you have dessert for dinner. It is very easy to go past 10% of your caloric intake from sugars. So I don't think a lot of people adhere to this either. Less than 30% of your total energy from fat. Now, I think more people would adhere to this. However, it does specify that the quality is important and this is where I think people will fall down. Most people's fat intake probably isn't coming from the sources that they recommend. At least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week. Hands in the air if you don't do that. But a lot of people say, yeah, I do aerobic activity. However, it must be 10 minutes or more in duration. So, you know, occasionally running for the bus or running up a flight of stairs, that doesn't count. For additional health benefits, go up to 300 minutes per week. Are you doing that? Most people aren't doing that. Muscle strengthening activities done at least twice per week. So on the whole, what percentage of people in the general society, not the kind of fitness-based population who are probably watching this video, in general society, what percentage of people do you think are doing all of these recommendations consistently? Now my guess, if I'm pulling a number out of the air, not very fucking many. So my point is, we can agree, or most of us would agree, that the recommendations that we have at the moment aren't working 
for whatever reason, obesity rates have been going up substantially. Yes, this might not be working to curtail this, but it doesn't mean that calories in, calories out isn't crucially important for weight regulation. Now, this is why I think it's important to encourage adherence to whatever diet someone can stick to. We know that adhering to calories in, calories out, adhering to healthy diets, adhering to a structured exercise routine is difficult. So we should encourage people to adhere to it in any way they can. Whether it's the Mediterranean diet or intermittent fasting or alternate day fasting or 5-2 diets or whatever it is, do it. If you can stick to it, do it, please, because most people can't do it. Now, what I don't agree with is low carb diet advocates saying you should follow this. This is the only way to do it. If you're gonna pitch a holy grail, make fucking sure that it is actually a holy grail. So find a diet that works for you, find one that you can adhere to and you can enjoy as much as feasibly possible. Don't go for low carb diets because people have told you that that is the only way to lose weight. Now I know what people are gonna say, yeah, but you know, this guy says that low carb diets are amazing and I should follow it and conventional wisdom's wrong and blah, 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 blah. So what you're saying is the guy that's selling you low carb diets and is making a fortune selling you low carb diet books is telling you that low carb diets are the way forward. Shocking. Cliff notes, calories in, calories out works. We know it works from tightly controlled metabolic war trials. Low carb diets can work as well. If you enjoy them, stick with it. But regulating insulin without regulating calories in, calories out is gonna do jack shit for your weight loss. So pick what works for you, be consistent, be good at it, and adhere to that. Cheers, guys.